So I've just received the M1 MacBook Air through the post and I'm super excited to unbox this. Now just to let you guys know, I will be doing a whole bunch of videos on these M1 MacBooks. I've got the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro M1s. They're both the base configuration, so we'll do some comparisons. We'll compare them to the Intel variants as well. And we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of things like real world tests, benchmarks. We're gonna be tracking uh, its power, its thermals, obviously the fan, not in this one, obviously sleep but in the other one and yeah we're just going to be doing a whole bunch of content so if you want to watch that let me know by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button honestly that really helps me out anyway let's get into the unboxing So in terms of the outside, obviously it doesn't really look that different. It's basically the same as my Intel MacBook Air, but the main differences is the fact that it's got no fan. It's obviously got that M1 chip and also that slightly better display. So it'll be really interesting to see how it compares to my Intel MacBook Air, because I've really enjoyed it. And that is the i5 uh, eight gigabytes with I think 256 gigabytes of, of storage. And I've really enjoyed that MacBook Air. Obviously there's a few things that I wish it, you know, did a little bit better, but potentially this might be the answer. And yeah, if it is everything that I hope it is, I might not upgrade my Air for a long time, unless they do a redesign then maybe so. But yeah, this this might be the perfect MacBook. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of tests regarding, you know, it's thermals. You know, I know that that's what a lot of you guys really want to know is, is how are the thermals, especially under load. Now I think for everyday tasks, I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. I think that if you're gonna be web browsing, if you're gonna be doing some Word documents, PowerPoint, stuff like that, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Uh, I think that, you know, if there's certain apps that aren't quite optimized like those Microsoft Office apps, I don't think you're really going to notice a difference with Rosetta 2 compared to this. I think that it's still going to work absolutely fine. It'll be interesting to see what the other apps are like uh, that haven't been optimized. But obviously right now, Rosetta 2, it's just the beginning. You know, in, in a year's time to two years time, we're not really going to be talking about Rosetta and, and apps not being optimized. Because let's be honest, if you haven't optimized for the ARM MacBook, someone else will develop that app potentially and take your place. So if you are a developer, you should probably start thinking about optimizing for ARM chips because that's what people are really going to be caring about, especially in a year's time. Obviously not right now, you know, it's, it's still a new product, but definitely in its second generation, third generation, these are things that people are really going to want. And those optimized apps are really going to perform well with Apple Silicon. As we've seen with the iPhones, the fact that it's so integrated with those uh, Apple Silicon chips in those iPhones means that they can run at half the RAM and give just the same performance as Android phones that run double the RAM and everything like that and is clocked at this speed and has got this GPU and all sorts. Well, the Apple Silicon um, iPhone uh, chips, they aren't really technically probably as good as those other chips. The fact that, again, like I said, they're running at nearly half the RAM and they still outperform those apps, uh, those phones. So yeah, I can't wait to see the future of the M1, but for now, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of tests. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. That will really help me out. If there's any questions that you want answered around this new M1 MacBook or MacBook Pro, then please just let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please, 
please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tech Carmoon. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified of every new video that I post about these new MacBooks. Also, if you want to watch more content from me, you know what to do. Click on one of these two videos. Both of them are fantastic. You know that, guys. <laughs> anyway, everyone, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.